Hey, Sarah. I gotta ask you something about your wedding ring. Oh, hey, Dolly. What's up? Why did my brother get you such a huge diamond for your ring? It's from the same brand as mine, you know? Yeah, Mark wanted to surprise me with a bigger diamond. He said it symbolizes his love and all that. It's not about brands or anything. Well, I just find it weird, you know? I mean, my wedding is supposed to be the most epic one. And now your ring is stealing the spotlight. Oh, come on, Dolly. It's not a competition. We're all family here. And we should support each other. It's not about who has the biggest or fanciest wedding. <sighs> Easy for you to say, Sarah. I've been dreaming about my dream wedding since forever. And now you're making it all about you. That's not fair, Dolly. Mark and I are just trying to have a special day for ourselves. We can all have amazing weddings, you know? I guess so. But it's just frustrating, you know? I got engaged first. And now you're going to get married first and with a bigger wedding. Dolly, please. This is ridiculous. It's not. I've been working so hard to make everything perfect. And now I feel like I'm being outdone by you. Dolly, I'm sorry if it feels that way, but please understand that Mark and I aren't trying to steal your thunder. Or we're just excited for our own wedding. It feels like you always get everything handed to you. It's not fair. Dolly, it's not about what we have or how much we spend. Why are you so bothered by this? I don't know. I'm just being honest about how I feel. Dolly, could you please at least try to be as supportive of me as I will be of you? When it's your time to plan your wedding. Okay, fine. Well, good. Listen, I'm here for you, and I know you're there for me too. But let's just not let this whole jealousy thing get in the way. Yeah, okay. All right. Talk soon. Take care, Dolly. Okay? Bye. Hey, sweetheart. I've been searching for you everywhere. Where have you disappeared to? Oh, Mark. I'm so sorry. I just discovered that there was a spill on my reception dress, and I had to rush to the back to deal with this outfit crisis. Oh, no. That's terrible. Are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help? It's chaotic back here. I'm managing it. Don't worry, love. I'm doing everything I can to salvage the situation. But is there anyone there to help you, sweetheart? Yep, don't worry. Just focus on entertaining the guests and buy me some time, please? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take your time, my dear. Everyone just keeps asking for the beautiful bride. Aw, Mark. I make sure to hurry back. I'll be with you in no time, I promise. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Sarah, you won't believe what just happened. What's wrong? I'm always ready. Dolly tried to snatch the microphone away from our singer. She wanted to make some kind of announcement. What? That's out of line. I know, my love. It took me by surprise as well. But don't worry, I handled the situation. How, Mark? I quickly pulled the plug on the speaker before she could utter a word. Oh, Mark, thank you. But what did she want to say? Maybe she just wanted to do a toast or something? No, she specifically asked me if you were around. And when I told her about the dress situation, she rushed to the stage immediately. Oh god, that's very sketchy. But I wonder what she wanted to say. It caught me off guard, but I overheard her mention something about being pregnant. The band was too loud, so I don't think people heard anything. I was just right there next to her. What? She's pregnant? I mean, I knew that she was. She told me and our parents a few days ago. But to announce it at our wedding like this? Did you agree to that? Not at all. Can you believe the audacity? Try to overshadow our special moment? I'm speechless. But I'm so grateful you acted swiftly to prevent that from happening. My love, nothing is more important to me than protecting you. I mean, I know Dolly can be, well, demanding. But this, this... This is too much. Mark, let's focus on the wedding for now. I'm incredibly fortunate to have you. Let's not allow anything to dab in our spirits. I'm the lucky one, Sarah. Being able to call you my wife is just a dream come true. But you're right. We can have this conversation with Dolly later. Yes, Mark. Let's dance, laugh, and have fun, yeah? Absolutely. Hey, 
Kira? What was Mark's problem? Why did he want to drag me off the stage? Dolly, I never agreed to have you to make any announcements at our wedding. It wasn't appropriate, and it wasn't the time or place for it. Well, you know, Sarah, I thought it would be a perfect moment to share my happiness with everyone. I didn't think it would upset you and Mark. Dolly, this day was about Mark and I, and we wanted the focus to be on our love and commitment. I just wanted to include our family in my joy. I didn't think it would cause such a fuss. You're really making it difficult for me to have a good relationship with my own brother. Dolly, I'm sorry if it seemed that way. It wasn't my intention to ruin your relationship with Mark. We just wanted our wedding day to be about us. And I hope you can understand that. It's always about you, isn't it? You will always get your way. Everyone has to cater to your need. Dolly, I never meant to make you feel that way. That was never my intention. I value our relationship, and I want us to support each other. Well, it certainly doesn't feel that way. I thought we were closer than this. <laughs> but I guess I was mistaken. Dolly, please understand that it's not a competition. I want you to be happy too. I apologize if I haven't been as considerate as I should have been. I'm actually very happy for you. Thank you, Sarah. I just wish things didn't have to be so complicated. I hope so too, Dolly. I never wanted our relationship to be strained. Your pregnancy is a beautiful thing, but I'm just really tired of all this drama and jealousy. Well, it's not that I was jealous. I just wanted to share the joy. It's important for me to be part of my brother's life still. Okay, I never knew that you felt that way. I mean, it's not easy to talk about, Tara. Anyway, let's just move past this together. Agreed, Dolly. Congratulations again. Thanks. Mark, I need to tell you something. Please don't be mad at me. Hmm, how bad is it? Very bad. As bad as my hangover? <laughs> Mark, no, but seriously, I have to say I'm very sorry. Okay, tell me, sweetheart, what is it? I'm so sorry, but I think I've lost my wedding ring. I can't find it anywhere. What? Oh no, Sarah, that's bad. But don't apologize, let's try to figure this out. Where could it have been misplaced? I've been racking my brain and I think I left it in the changing room at the wedding venue. I went back there to check, but it's not there anymore. Okay, look, take a deep breath, my love. We'll find a solution. I'm sorry. Really? But I looked everywhere and I still couldn't find it. Don't be, sweetheart. Are you sure you left it in the changing room? Maybe it slipped off somewhere else. I'm almost certain, Mark. I remember taking it off while getting ready. And that's where I placed it. Can't believe it's gone. It's okay, Sarah. These things, they happen. We'll do everything we can to find it. Can I be honest with you about something? Yeah, what is it? I actually suspect Dolly. I know this sounds really bad, but I have a bad feeling about her. But why would you suspect Dolly? I know she can come off a little snarky at times, but she's my sister. I know it sounds terrible, but Dolly seemed jealous about the ring. She questioned why you got me a bigger diamond, and she wanted her wedding to be the most epic one. I hate to think this way, but I can't shake off the feeling. Hmm. Well, let's try to keep an open mind and explore other possibilities. Dolly might have trouble dealing with her emotions, but I don't think she'd resort to this. Okay, I'll take your word for it. You don't sound too convinced, though. Listen, I'll check the camera footage of the venue to see if anything unusual was captured. Thank you, Mark. I feel awful for even thinking this, but can't help but wonder. I hope I'm wrong, but it's better to be cautious. It's okay, we'll get to the bottom of this, and hopefully it turns out to be a simple misunderstanding. Yeah, I never wanted to suspect anyone, especially not Dolly. Let's just hope it's a misplaced ring and nothing more. We'll remain optimistic, my love. I'll go through the footage thoroughly and see if anything stands out. In the meantime, Try not to blame yourself. These things happen. Thank you, Mark. That means the world to me. Love you. Love you too. My love, I've reviewed the camera footage and can't believe what I've discovered. This is really terrible. What is it? Did you see Dolly walk in there? Yes, but there's something else. It's so much worse than I thought it would be. Tell me, Mark. Dolly did go into your changing room, but not alone. She was with Bob. What? Bob? 
one of the groomsmen? Yep, that friend of mine from high school, he literally knew her since she was in middle school. Oh my goodness, Mark, this is... Oh, I'm in shock. But maybe there's a misunderstanding. Maybe there happened to be in there together? They were holding hands walking in. Plus, the way they looked walking out of there... Ugh, can't even talk about it. My god, I can't believe Dolly would do something like that. Especially with Bob. I know, I'm just as shocked and angry as you are. Also, do you know what sucks? She had a glass of wine in her hand, so it's possible that she was the one who stained your dress in the first place. I can't wrap my head around this, Mark. Why would she do something so hurtful? And Bob, I thought he was your friend. I'm just as perplexed, Sarah. I feel responsible for not realizing what was happening earlier. I'm so sorry, my love. Mark, please don't blame yourself. We couldn't have predicted this. It's not your fault. I know, I just feel terrible. Me too, but what do we do now? If we confront Dolly or Bob, they'll probably just deny everything. I know, it's infuriating, but we can't let this slide. We need to find a resolution. You're right, Mark. Let's think carefully about our next steps and ensure we handle this with grace. Absolutely, Sarah. I'll think about this. Hey, Sarah. I've been thinking and I want to ask you something important. Are you free to talk? Oh, hey, Dolly, what's up? Will you be one of my bridesmaids? Oh, um, Dolly, I didn't expect this. I need some time to think about it. I understand that you're hesitant, Sarah, with all the misunderstanding going on. Hear me out, okay? We're family now, and I want us to have a good relationship, as it was. Being bridesmaids together would be a wonderful way to strengthen our bond. It's not that I want a good relationship with you, Dolly. It's just that things have been complicated between us lately. I'm not sure if being bridesmaid will resolve everything. I know things have been rocky, but I genuinely want to mend our relationship. This is an opportunity for us to create positive memories and move forward. I appreciate your willingness to work things out, Dolly. Let me think about it for a little while longer, okay? Of course. Take your time, Sarah. Just remember, I want us to have a strong bond as family. Being bridesmaid would be a step towards that. Yes, of course. I value family too. Uh, let me discuss it with Mark and see what he thinks. I'll get back to you soon. That sounds fair, Sarah. I hope you decide to join me. It will mean a lot. I'll talk to Mark, but thank you for reaching out, Dolly. You're welcome, Sarah. Take your time. I'll be in touch soon. Take care. You take care too, Sarah. Talk to you soon. Mark, Dolly asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, wow. Did she? That's weird. Right? It's so hard to trust her after everything that has unfolded. Do you think it's a good idea to get involved at your wedding? Honestly, she's my sister and I, I thought I knew her, but after everything that's happened, I'm not so sure anymore. I know, it's just difficult to wrap my head around the idea of being part of her wedding, when our relationship has been so strained. I completely understand, my love. It's not an easy decision to make, but think of it as a strategic move to maybe gather evidence and, if necessary, confront her with facts. Hmm, you have a point. I need to figure out why she went into my changing room. Plus, there's a still tiny chance that this is all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, you're right. Let me know how things go, okay? Okay, Mark. I'll text Dolly and let her know that I agree to it. Dolly, I've thought about it, and I agree to be one of your bridesmaids. I hope this brings us closer. Oh, Tara, I'm absolutely thrilled that you agree. Such a wonderful news. I knew you would come around eventually. Aw, oh, I'm glad that you're so happy. Of of course I am! We're going to have the most amazing time together! I hope so too, Dolly. I genuinely want us to have a positive experience. Let's make your wedding special. Absolutely, Sarah! Now that you're officially our bridesmaid, there are a few things I need to start taking care of right away. It's important to get things done properly, you know? Okay, Dolly. What do you need me to do? Well, first of all, I need to start today. I prepared a list of tasks for you. 
they may seem trivial, but they're all important to ensure a flawless wedding. All right, I'll do my best to help. Please send me the list, and I'll see what I can do. Great. Here's the list. 1. Charge a bride's phone daily and ensure it never runs out of battery. 2. Take out the bride's trash every evening. 3. Pull the bride's laundry and organize her wardrobe. 4. Water the bride's plans. 5. Prepare a detailed itinerary for the bride's daily activities. Dolly, this list seems unreasonable. Some of these tasks are so many and unnecessary. Sarah, remember that you promised to be supportive. These tasks may seem small to you, but they're essential for my peace of mind. I do promise to be supportive, Dolly, but I didn't realize it would involve such demanding and trivial tasks. I want to help, but I'm not a personal assistant. Sarah? I thought you understood the importance of supporting me. As a bridesmaid, it's your duty to ensure that my wedding goes smoothly. Dolly, I want us to have a healthy and mutually respectful relationship. I'm willing to help with meaningful tasks and be there for you. But I can't simply be at your back and call for every small detail. Sarah, you're being difficult. I thought you had changed, but I guess I was wrong. I'm just trying to make my wedding perfect. And you can't even do these simple tasks for me. Dolly, it's not fair to put all the blame on me. We can find a compromise that works for both of us. Fine, Sarah. If you can't even do these simple things for me, then I don't know why I bothered to ask you to be part of my wedding. I'm literally pregnant and planning the most epic wedding of the century. Do you understand how much stress I'm in right now? Dolly, please don't say that. I don't have time for your game, Sarah. If you can't fulfill your duties as a bridesmaid, then maybe you should reconsider your decision. Dolly? Okay. I'll do it for you. But I also asked the other bridesmaid to help with these tasks, alright? Hey, fine. That's on you. Alright, we'll figure it out. Mark, you won't believe what I just discovered. What is it? Wait, are you with Dolly again? Yes, I am. Weren't you with her the whole day yesterday? I was hoping to have some time with you during the weekend. I'm sorry, Mark. Dolly may be responsible for so many tasks, including charging her phone. Oh, God, that's terrible. Where are you now? At the salon. But listen, I found something. I accidentally saw some messages on her phone, and they were all from Bob. What? Sarah, what did the messages say? Please, tell me everything. Mark, it's devastating. They're having an affair. They've been sending each other some pictures. What? This is freaking horrible. Yeah, can I scroll back up a little? The messages on my wedding day indicated that Bob stole my wedding ring for Dolly because he knew she wanted it. They've been plotting this together. I'm, I'm fuming, Sarah. How could they do this to us? This goes beyond our relationship with her. We need to tell her fiancé the truth as well. D? Oh god, my heart breaks for him. He's such a great guy. Yeah, but we can't let this deception continue. We owe it to him to reveal the truth. Do you have the messages with you? Yeah, I took screenshots and sent myself all of them. Bob mentioned how he managed to take the ring from me and how Dolly was thrilled about it. Okay, Sarah, I'll speak to Dean and explain the situation. We can't let her twist the truth any longer. Wait, how about letting me do it? I was the one who found out, so I felt like it'd be better coming from me, don't you think? You're right, Sarah. You'll handle it delicately. Okay, Mark. I'll keep you updated. Dean, I need to talk to you about something important. It's difficult, but I think you deserve to know the truth. Sarah, what's going on? Is everything okay? I discovered something shocking about Dolly, and I believe it's my responsibility to share it with you. Please, brace yourself, Dean. I'm listening, Sarah. Please tell me what you've discovered. Dean, I recently found out that Dolly has been having an affair. I have screenshots of messages between her and Bob, where they discuss stealing my wedding ring together, as well as sending each other some explicit photos. I'm so sorry you have to hear this. What? I can't, I, I can't believe this. Dean, I'm truly sorry they had to go through with this. I can send you the screenshots, or I can show them to you later. Whichever you prefer. Dean, are you okay? Yeah, I was just in shock. Needed some time to think. 
Is there anything I can do to help? Sarah, to be honest, I suspected something was going on, but I didn't have any proof. She always accused me of doubting her and embarrassed me in front of our friends. I feel so betrayed. Dean, no one deserves to be treated with such deception and manipulation. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. I'm devastated, but also relieved to finally have some confirmation. I understand how conflicting those emotions can be, Dean. It's painful realization, but it's also an opportunity for you to free yourself from a toxic relationship. I never thought it would come to this, Sarah. I trusted Dolly. Even when she embarrassed me or accused me of hurting her feelings, I always thought it was all my fault. Listen, Dean, it may be hard, but it's also essential to prioritize your own well-being. Mark and I will be here for you. Thank you for your support, Sarah. Can we meet up and talk about this in person? I still need to understand the situation better. Dean, of course. I'll be there for you. I appreciate it, Sarah. I I'll reach out soon to arrange our meeting. Take care. You too, Dean. You'll get through this. Hey, Sarah. I have a special task for you as my bridesmaid. I want you to create a slideshow for me to plan the wedding. Make sure it's amazing. Dolly, I already have a lot on my plate as a bridesmaid. Are you sure you want me to do it? But you're the best at it, Sarah. Please. All right, I'll do my best to create a nice slideshow for you. What kind of content would you like to be included? Oh, just make it magical and capture all the beautiful moments of my life. Include pictures of me, Dean, and our journey together. Alright, that doesn't sound too difficult. But here's the important part, Sarah. I want you to tell everyone that I made it myself. It'll be our little secret, okay? Dolly, I'm not comfortable with lying to everyone. Plus, what's the big deal? Most brides don't do these things themselves anyway. Sarah, don't be so mean. This is my special day and I want everything to be perfect. Trust me. Everyone will be mesmerized by my amazing wedding. But don't you think it's a little weird to make things up like that? Hera, you're missing the point entirely. This is my wedding. I'm going to have the best wedding ever. And everything needs to be perfect. Just do as I ask and make sure it's a stunning slideshow. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Ah, you're the best of the best. Thanks. You're welcome. Sarah, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Can I ask you for a huge favor? Yeah. Oh, what is it? How are you holding up? I know what I want to do now. Can you secretly give me the task of making the slideshow at our wedding? Dean, I'm surprised you know about the slideshow. How did you find out? Dolly's been bragging about it, saying it's the best surprise she has for me. But I accidentally overheard her talking to a friend on the phone, mentioning how happy she was that you were running all the errands for her. This sounds terrible, but it's true. Dean, I'm sorry. Also, it's disappointing that's how she's talking about me. But why do you want to task? I want to show her that I know the truth. It's time for her to face the consequences of her actions. I'm not sure what you're planning to do, Dean, but revenge might not necessarily bring you peace. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate your support, but I needed this after so much that she's put me through. Are you sure? Yes, please. All I need from you is to turn a blind eye. You don't even need to look at the slideshow until the wedding. I understand. Can you give me the task without her knowing? Yeah, I can do that. Just be careful with how you handle the situation, Dean. Thank you for helping me with this. I can't let her get away with what she's been doing. Just remember to prioritize your own well-being throughout this process. I will, Sarah. Thank you for being there for me. Absolutely, Dean. Take care. You too, Sarah. Thank you again. Sarah, where'd you go? I can't find you anywhere. Dolly's about to show us this uh, slideshow she made for Dean. Mark, I have to confess something. Dolly actually asked me to do it for her. Wait, so you made it? Well, no. Listen, I gave the task of making the slideshow to Dean. I know something bad is about to happen. And I couldn't bear to be there when it unfolds. What? Sarah, why would you do that? What do you mean something bad is gonna happen? Dolly doesn't know that Dean is making the slideshow instead of me. He asked me to give him the task. I have a feeling he's planning something. And I just... gonna be part of it. 
Sarah, this this is... Uh, I don't know what to say. Dolly just announced to everyone that she made the slideshow herself. Well, she's lying, but that is not going to be the worst part today. Hold on, Sarah. Something's happening. There's a commotion near the screen where the slideshow's being played. I see people gasping and whispering. What's going on? Mark, I have a sinking feeling. Think Dean includes something in the slideshow to expose the truth. Wait, it's the screenshot of Bob's conversation, revealing their affair to everyone. Oh no, this is worse than I imagined. God, how is everyone? Sarah, this is gonna be chaotic. The screenshot is on display for everyone to see. Dolly's going nuts. She's shouting and trying to grab the remote to stop the slideshow. People are stunned. This is just utter chaos. Oh my goodness, can only imagine how Dolly must be reacting. She's always been so concerned about her image. This exposure is her worst nightmare coming true. It's hard to describe, Sarah. Dolly's screaming at the top of her lungs and Bob is trying to hold her back. Wait, Bob? He's here too? Yeah, apparently he wants her to stop the whole wedding. They're screaming at each other now and Dean literally just left. Should he do anything? As her brother, yes. I should probably stop her from hurting herself, at least. But I'm so disappointed, Sarah. I'm sorry, March. She brought it on herself. Okay, I gotta go now. She just knocked the wedding cake over. Uh, let me rush in to help. Sarah, you ruined my life! Can't believe you do this to me! You're nothing but a conniving jealous witch! Dolly, I know about the ring and the wine stain. You can't deny your involvement in those incidents. How dare you accuse me of such things! I would never stoop so low. You're just trying to deflect blame onto me. You're a terrible person, Sarah! Dolly, I have evidence that proves your involvement. The screenshots of Bob's conversation. The same Bob who took my wedding ring for you. You're delusional, Sarah. You're just trying to save yourself from the mess you created. I can't believe you're still lying and twisting the truth. You're a snake in the grass. Dolly, I'm not lying. You are. It's time to face the truth, Dolly. Oh, you're not? Come on, Sarah. You've always been jealous of me. You made that slight show to ruin me. Alright, there's something else you should know. It was Dean who made the slight show. Not me. He wanted to expose your lies. What? No, that can't be true. Dean would do that to me. He loves me. You're just making up stories. Dolly, it's the truth. Dean met me in person and asked for the screenshots to be sent to him. This can't be happening. He was supposed to be on my side. Can't believe he would betray me like this. Dolly, you can't keep manipulating and deceiving people without consequences. It's time to face the reality of your actions. I don't need your lectures, Sarah. You think you're so perfect. But you're just a cunning witch. I'll never forgive you for this. Say what you want to say, Dolly. This conversation is over. Just stay out of my life and let me deal with this mess you created. Oh. Gladly. You're a freaking horrible person! After searching Dolly's room, they found my wedding ring in the drawer of her nightstand. Somehow, she still had the audacity to deny everything. My parents-in-law were so upset, they refused to send her her monthly allowances until she apologized. She never did. But still, I got my ring back. She was never invited to family gatherings with Mark and me anymore. Without our parents' support or Dean, Dolly struggled to make ends meet, while losing all of her friends because no one could trust her after that incident at her wedding. About Dean, he moved on with life. He wanted to raise Dolly's baby and was brave enough to be a single dad. He moved to a different town and kept in touch with Mark and I. I heard that he's got a new job not long after and found someone that made him fall in love again. As for us, we're very happily married. Mark doesn't hang out with Bob anymore. And the poor guy just kept trying to get back with Dolly. He didn't know she was just using him. Mark and I just celebrated our anniversary. We're going stronger than ever.